party in. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to uh, another Ravnica Allegiance draft here on Magic Online this time. Ben, good times, good times, buddy. I, I was expecting you to uh, pump your your kitchen, your uh, figure of destiny all the way, because then you would be four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you could hit me with two, and I thought that was going to kill me. But uh, instead you were like, I'll only pump him to two, and then I'll just lightning helix your face. So you gave me this false sense of hope that maybe you missed the line. And uh, you didn't. You didn't. Chad with the 60 months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back. All right, let me actually switch the... Um, I'm going to switch the goal right now, and it'll be the Biovisionary goal, because we already did the Elk Tears goal, so... And like I said, if you guys want to help, you guys can. If not, never gonna, never gonna be required in any way. But we are gonna be, we're all gonna be streaming. So, where are my, where are my goals? Um, okay. Uh, what is this? Okay, I found them. Boy, they changed everything. Donation goal here. Okay. So we're at 703 for April rent. We'll say zero, we'll say zero, and we'll say whenever. I guess like three thirty one. Okay, cool. And we can update. We can update the sub goal as the sub goal as well, I guess. Are we mythic yet? We are not. Chad, five years in a row is insane, dude. Just saw another one. I try and do a least amount of math possibly that required counting lands and damage. <laughs> yeah, if you have a if you have a lightning helix in hand, just put it to the dome, my dude. I uh, I see nothing wrong with that. Plus, you gain three life. So what problem is? All right, we'll stick with that for now. We'll go back to the old-fashioned. Thank you. Why isn't this draft firing? I'm really... The third tail. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate the resub. Really appreciate it. Good times, good times. Will this be the day of gathering goblins? I wonder if it will be. I guess we can see how many goblins we can gather. Hang those stockings and say your prayers because goblins are gathering tonight. Any chance for a Lorwyn draft? Yes. Let's do a Lorwyn draft after this. What if MCG advertised MCG mm. drafting in the white space? <laughs> yeah, I... That would be... That would be something right there. So, hang your snoggins. Why do I have this... 
All right, we're at seven. We can do this. We can do this. If I, yeah, and this is another thing. Like, this is another MTG Arena benefit. I hate to say it, but I don't have to wait for this in MTG Arena. I just jump right in the queue. Anyway, here we go. That's terrible. Rhythm of the Wild, not so terrible, though. And Rhythm of the Wild will probably be the one I pick. Savage Smash, probably never coming back. Blade Juggler, probably never coming back. Either way, we're taking the Rhythm. I think it's definitely the... Uh, that is one premier uncommon, my dudes. So hang your stockings and say your prayers. Because Santa Claus, Santa Claus, Claus comes tonight. Flames of the Razor is super nice, especially because with the Gruel deck, you'll probably have a creature with power four or greater. Light up the stage is also good. It's basically just a one mana draw two, which is pretty strong. If you consider Ancestral Recall as a one mana draw three, one mana draw two in red is very, very good. Sunder Shaman? Wow, this is just working out very well. I also like Scorchmark, but I don't think it, it holds a candle to a Sunder Shaman, especially in a red-green deck. So hang your snockings. Yeah, this is actually, this is a, this is a three solid Gruel pick so far. Because <sighs> Michael B comes tonight. Here comes Michael B, here comes Michael B, right down Michael B lane. Michael B and do 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 Michael B again. Why the Christmas music? I actually don't know. I actually have no idea. Oh, a clan guild mage? I mean, sure. Is that better than hybrid? Maybe it's more versatile. Actually, we can probably take this, and maybe this comes back. One, two, three, four, five, four cards to come back. I think we take the the hybrid. Actually, it's easier to cast, and like it's it's a better. This is actually like a, like a better late game card. It's kind of funny how good this is as a common. Yeah, it's only ten months till Christmas. I want to get a jump on the holidays, my dudes. open the gates we can just take sphinx here like this pack is not very good i don't think sphinx is great but i think it's better than probably everything else in that pack oof Because Santa Claus comes tonight. Every day is Christmas if you ignore society. Hmm. Got to be onto something there. That is a, uh, that is something. Cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Yeah, let's just get Rubble Belt Runner. I like, I like. There's so many Rubble Belts here. I like Recluse, but I think five mana. I think we're. I want just want some early. I want to make sure we have early guys. And uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a beautiful song. This guy's not very good, but there's really nothing else for us in this pack, unfortunately. If you guys can hear the Roomba, I apologize, but Roomba's got to be cleaning. Oh, yeah, I mean, 
I should probably invest in regular massages, to be quite honest. Like, I keep a lot of stress in my neck, too. Like, right around here. Yeah, I think this deck's looking pretty good here. These are a solid seven picks. Sphinx, like I said, Sphinx is not the greatest, but it does dodge uh, a good amount of removal, and also it's a 5-5 five, five flyer, so... Okay, that's an unreasonably late Law Mage's Binding and an unreasonably late Syndicate Guild Mage. I'm going to take the Territorial Boar and someone is going to get a late Law Mage's Binding and I feel really bad about it. But I can't feel that bad, I guess. I'm going to take the Brush Strider even though I love Applied Biomancy. <laughs> Uh, I like Rebel Slinger. I also like Gift of Strength. I think Gift of Strength is a little bit better. Maybe. I bet we can get another trick. I'd rather just have the 2 3 Reachy guy, I guess. Thank you. Little Scoochie, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That is a nice Mammoth Spider. Always a pleasure having a Mammoth Spider in the deck. The Mammoth Spider in this format actually just shuts down a lot of the flying cards. Maybe I was singing Christmas songs because I knew we were going to be in Gruul. Wow, that's really weird. I was singing Christmas songs and then we ended up in Gruul. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. It's tripping me out a little bit, I'll be honest with you. Wow, these white cards, am I right? <laughs> white Christmas. There was a trick we wanted. This is actually good because it counters uh, Justicia's Smite? I don't know, Surge? Just like the ones we used to burn. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, Incubation Druid. That is a good one. That's what we're going to take here. It's a well-needed two-drop. It ramps us to four. It helps fix our colors. Yeah, that's an easy pick. This is real tempting to splash in limited, guys. Real tempting to splash in limited. I think Enraged Ceratoc is the pick, but boy, is this card fun. Boy, ain't we had fun. All right, I'm gonna let you guys decide. Is it captive audience or is it enraged Saratok? Can we make a modern deck with Rampage of the Clans and like Affinity? Can we just make an Affinity deck with like all the cheap like Mem Knights and stuff and then we just make them all three threes? Three for Saratok? Two for audience and one for... Oh, that's actually... Yeah, that's two for audience and three for Saratok. Fine. God, haters gonna hate. Could just be Ignis. 
I don't love Ignis, but I, I appreciate that it does a thing. It's either Ignis or like Rakdos Guildgate. We could take another Mammoth Spider. What if it comes back? I don't think it's ever coming back, right? Clear the stage, clear the stage. When no one is around you, say me, me I love you. That's a late Azorius Skyguard. Boom, boom, boom. Could take a Simic Guild Gate in case we get some some bonkers blue card that we want to play. We could take a Gateway Plaza in case we get a bonkers honey card. Probably red or blue. Could just take another Rubble Slinger, but I don't think I care about a Rubble Slinger. We have 13 creatures already. I think I kind of just want to take one of these. Probably the Simic Guild Gate because we already have a bunch of two drops that I don't want to really be off curve and playing. So I'm just going to take the Simic Guild Gate here. Another Ignis. I don't think we need another two drop. I actually kind of like the second Mammoth Spider. Especially with Incubation Druid, it's a little easier to cast. I also like Sylvan Brush Strider here. It's good against the more aggressive decks. I mean, this is a solid 18 cards, and we still have another pack left, so I'm pretty okay with it. Don't care about tower defense. Get the point is super nice. We're probably just going to take the get the point, and then we might be able to find some guild gates. Definitely don't want another Axebane Beast. But this is premier removal in this format, so it's it's an instant. It lets you scry. It kills anything. It's exactly what you want out of a five five mana removal spell. I like Applied Biomancy. I don't care about Rubble Reading or Slime Bind. Applied Biomancy is nice. We do have the Simic Guild Gate, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I still have to take these these Hydra Eyes. Like, I'm supposed to go through this whole thing. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 left. Because one of the pills fell on the floor. Oh, uh, Rampage of the Clans could be fine. We could just take the Open the Gates because it does let us... Uh, yeah, it might just be open the gates. Also, this does destroy artifacts and enchantments, but I mean, I really don't want to give them three threes. Like, if they have, like, high alert something else, I really don't want to give them two. I guess it might be better. I don't know if that's better than... I'll take another Stony. I don't really... Actually, we'll just bring in a Mammoth Spider in case they, like... In case they're just Flyers.deck. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe giving them a 3 3s is just better than having High Alert or Rhythm of the Wild or something, but who knows. Uh, it's called Hydro Eye. And it says, support for dry eyes, clinically tested. It was given to me by my LASIK doctor. LASIK doctor, that's so fun. Ocean man, but you took me by the hand, but the button bad. Boom, 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 bo
And you should feel bad. Gates of Blaze, not great for us. Eyes Everywhere is nice. I kind of just want the Gateway Plaza, though. There's a, I hit there's a Mortify and a Blade Juggler and an Absorb in here that we just can't do anything with. Hide your eyes. Hide your wife. <laughs> that, I I would not have noticed that that mistake. I think that was I think that's close enough. I think it's just gate, Gateway Plaza. I don't want a third Brush Strider. I think I just like the options that, that the Gateway Plaza keeps open for us. Wow. The Azorius deck would have been really good. This is also another Get the Point and a Savage Smash. I want to take the Smash because it's in our colors, but I really want some bigger creatures like the 4-4s four or like... Maybe that Titanic Brawl comes back because I think that's an underval... Whoa! That's pretty good. At least I think it's pretty good. We don't have that many spells. We have four spells right now. One is a Flames, one is a Rhythm, which will ideally come down first. And one is this little trick, and one is Smash. So, yeah, this is just a 5-5 five, five for 5. I mean, is Erinx better? Maybe. But doubling our mana and being able to just cast, like, Sphinx or Adapting is pretty good. I don't know. Like, I get... 5-5s five are good, man. All right, I want to take the Aranx. I don't know if it's better, but it feels fine. I'll take this Titanic Brawl. That's great. Another Rampage the Clans, huh? This guy is pretty nice. I kind of, I kind of want this guy over the Sphinx in our deck. Could also just take Sagittarius Volley because I don't know if we need another big threat. We have sixteen creatures here. I kind of want the Volley for the sideboard. I don't think we need a. We, like, uh, if I di if I have to play this over Wrecking Beast, I'm just fine. So I think I see a rare, and I'm like, oh, it's a rare. It's got a great cost. Uh, at a, it's got a great cost to body ratio, and then I'm just like, yeah, all right, seems good. Also, Case, what's going on, buddy? Wow, we have Girl Chamber Guardian and Incubation Druid. It's basically a, it's basically a constructed deck. I really like this just because we do have, um, like you're you're obviously never going to search for the search with this guy, but you do have it. Just becomes a four four for for two on turn three, and I think that's pretty good. It's just cheaper than like if you got if you have if you have Sword from Hybrid, this becomes a six six on turn six. This is a four four on turn three. So yeah, I think we're just going to take this guy. I think Bulrax also very, very good here, but... Oh, you know. <laughs> like you do. Wow, emergency powers? Actually, don't mind the Guildgate here. I also don't mind the Gravelhide Goblin, but... Man, we could have had emergency powers and captive audience. You guys got so... You guys... You guys... No. I'm mad at you guys now. I think we're good. One, two, three, four, five. We have, literally have six two drops. I'm just going to take the guild gate here. That is an extremely late gatebreaker ram. I'm going to take the recluse though because we only have like two guild gates that we actually play. Whereas this guy's just a fine five drop and that's probably our deck. No man, take me by the handle. Shut up and take my money. Okay. One still mad bug. You ain't still mad, you dang liar. Why are you like this? I think our deck looks really good. This deck looks great. I wish I had something that replaces Axbane Guardian, but... I first pick Ethereal Absolution with zero fixing in Simic Pack 3. And 100% played it. I, th I don't even blame you. Wow, Grovelhide or a Titanic Brawl? We already have a Titanic Brawl. Reclamation could be interesting. We have a good amount of... Uh... I don't think we need a second volley. I think it's actually just Gravelhind Goblin. Alright, well... This is a lot of giant mammoth spiders. Sc 
Scuttle Gator. I do think the Goblin is better than Ingus. I agree with that. Eh, Gruel. I actually don't even mind the Gruel Locket over like the Axe Bane. I'm pretty sure this is our deck though. Our deck looks. I think this looks good. I think this looks good. We have a good amount of removal. Flames. Brawl. Smash. I don't think we saw any Skewer the Critics. My record against non Ethereal Absolution was 9 1. My record against Ethereal Absolution was a 0 3. The fact that you played against it three times, though, is pretty crazy in, in and of itself, I think. We could also play and open the gates and just play 16 lands. But we'd have a, a, we have one 6 drop, one 7 drop. I kind of like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm game. It depends on if we think we're going to get flooded or screwed today. That's really how you decide. You're like, well, is it a flood day or is it a screw day? If it's a flood day, open the gates. Open the flood gates. If it's a screw day, then we'll just, you know, we'll just play 17 lands and open the gates. If you know what I mean. I don't, Case. Can you elaborate? What do you mean, buddy? What are you saying? Boom. <laughs> oh, man. Ironically, I feel like I actually tighten up all the screws in the house too frequently as it is. Last night, I like, I did some repairs to some of the blinds. I, uh, I tightened up the, the screen. Um, yeah, we can do better than that. Like, I do a lot of actually, like, just little home fix-it projects. I really like having a, a tidy, well-kept domicile. Ocean man. Well, we have nothing to play here, so this is hmm. awkward, but... Thank you. Kerwit with the resub. One year, how did this happen? I'd like to take this opportunity to thank hot dog sandwiches, which is a wholesome snack. Stay in school, don't do drugs, or whatever. This is going to be a blowout when we actually get to play it, if we get to play it. And they're going to mow. I was like, oh, and they're going to mortify. They did not mortify. All right. This is actually great because now if they have any kind of trick, we can uh, put a 1-1 counter on this guy. If we hit a land, it's actually going to be utterly disgusting. We just have to wipe the whole board. It's pretty gross. Kerwood, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, buttery biscuits. B -b -b buttery biscuits. This guy's got to go. I'm. I now I'm saying buttery biscuits, and I'm just thinking of Bobby Butters because Mike is weird, man. Mike is a weird dude. Land. I wanted a land. Did you not understand? I 
I'm not too worried about this. I don't want to really waste Titanic Brawl on that cat when we just have uh, Flames of the Raised Boar, so. I was specifically, specifically across the opposite of this. What did you wait? Where? What's going on? Oh my god. I'm probably going to kill that instead. Because that's a floaty boy. But this is still going to be pretty disgusting. Oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> Can I get a land? Here's a spell. This is not what I asked for. Wow. Wow, guys. Can I get... They were like, I'll triple block. No, he ain't gonna like that. Should have played land. Then we can actually Titanic Brawl. He still can. But now we can't adapt. I feel bad about our decisions. Could have also pumped this guy. We could do so many things. Oh wait, it's only it only it's only if it targets a so yeah, so we could have actually pumped this guy. Yeah, this is an incredibly poor use of mana, guys. Don't do what I've done. Don't get so excited by by the situation the good situation you put yourself in. That you, uh, that you negatively affect any future situations that you put yourself in. That's my advice. A hundred percent do what I say, not what I do. This feels pretty bad, right? If they block here, they're, oh, they got a thing. Uh, it's still attacking. This is not... Oh, this is terrible because it's still attacking. And I get to destroy it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Put you to 1. Yeah, I'm just going to play another guy. Yeah, this is actually... That was, that was pretty comical. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Well, I think that went well. I'm just going to submit like this. I'm going to keep this and hope I can draw just a red, a red mana, a source of red manners. I got motorcycles over here, got Roombas over here, man. All right, well, that's not... I said manners, not mammoths. It's not the same. Oh, uh, volley could have been good. I just... I, I felt like we were so so outclassed that, like, we didn't even really need a sideboard. I'm sure it'll be famous. Famously, uh, mis it's a, it's a, I'm sure it'll be a famous mistake. No blocks. This guy, like, he has riot. <laughs> Whatever that means. Whatever. If you have a trick to kill my 4 3, what? What? We just gotta eat that guy?
three seven is pretty big one two three four five I know there's dogs barking too. I don't know how much of this you can hear, but. Ocean man. I mean, if we play this guy, we can make it a four, four, six. Then we can make it a five, seven, and then we can make this a seven, nine and kill. I really want them to try to counter our creatures. I'll mortify it, you see. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I was singing Ocean Man, and I think that song's real weird, I'll be honest with you. This is all a yikes for me, dog. All right, so I got two cards in hand. Sure. I mean, this other spider is going to really keep them in their keep them in their place here. Spiders for days. Don't have another one. Oh boy. They're at 20. Why aren't they attacking with this gator? Let's give haste so that we can actually activate this and pump itself. Those are those, oh, those are those MTG Arena sound effects. Uh, we're going to keep double green up. All right, 4-5 is nice because now we can still do the Savage Smash into Stony Strength plays. Oh, we also have this up. My God. a lot of things all right so they have one card i think we need God, we got to be a little more aggressive here right we got a savage smash the crocodile and then we can titanic brawl the cat with the mammoth spider actually we got to kill this right yeah this is fine
No, oh, you're slow rolling now. Basilica Bell Haunt. Senate Griffer. All right, well, that's good. It's triple Law Mage is binding, sure. I want to pump this because it forces them to use black. Maybe they forget. So they're on a two turn clock, which is nice. So now we have two four sixes that can get through the Basilica Bell Haunt, which is also nice. Oh, that's a good draw. All right. Sure. Let's get rid of the three four because it's more, it's more bigger. And we'll just make this a six six. All right, our deck seems pretty sweet. I think our deck seems good. Oh, one green source lets us open the gates, which is pretty good. And we have incubation druid. I think I'm gonna keep this hand. It's risky, but all we need is one green source, and we have nine green in the deck, so. God, we're so good at this game. I actually might not get the guild gate here, because it might, like, we can go turn two this guy, turn three. Actually, guild gate's great, because next turn we can go. Yeah, because we can go turn two, Incubation Druid, turn three, three drop, and play Guild Gate. God, we're good at this game. Ocean Man, I wish this song wasn't stuck in my head. It's not good. 
The song is alright. It's just kind of weird, right? Take me by the hand, lead me to the land. Ocean man. Everything by Ween is kind of weird. There are plenty of Stranger Songs by Ween. <laughs> 14 times in the past two years? Dude, Hajigashi, that's insane, my man. James, that is not a normal amount of, of times to see a band. Now we actually don't even have to play Guildgate. We can just play Aranx next turn instead. No blocks. Many others I know went way more than way many more than that. That's not. That's no. That's no. Man, those are some ocean mans. How's your lecture? Yeah, no, no problem, dude. Knock yourself out. As a mod, you should feel free to post your links whenever you whenever you like, as long as they're not super oppressive. But as a mod, I also trust that you'll know that. Oh, that's that's amazing. What is this guy gonna be like? A six seven? That's what's known as a yikes from me, dog. Well, let's not attack into their six seven. Can I post the link of my peen? No. No, you cannot. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my God. If they have any, like, removal spells, it's just brutal. Oh, my God. I'm going to watch this later. Okay, okay. Do they have a trick? Probably. What can they have? Mortify? Yes. Plus two. I'm just going to take six here because I think we're just going to... Shut up and take my money. One Randy Jackson the musical bug. <laughs> That's a yikes from me, dog. I should probably close my window now. It's really dark outside so everyone can just probably see right inside. Fairy Duelist is also good, yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'd rather be able to block with three dudes. Like playing this this guy. Or like attacking and then one, two, three, four, five. If we hit a land, an untapped land, it's pretty good. We did not, but I'm still gonna We could also pump now, we can't do that. So we're gonna play this. Ocean Man. Can I post the link of Tom Green? Yeah, go for it. Daddy, would you like some sausage? God, what happened to Tom Green? Interesting, though. So it's probably just Fairy Duelist, right? So we block with seven, they Fairy Duelist. 
I think we're just gonna have to force them to have it though. Like whatever. Cause I just can't keep. I'm, I can't go to six here. Of course, slime bind. Sure. Thank you. Mm, that's pretty terrible. Puppy dog guys, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. I am back. I brought in it to win it. On, I, I I bought in it to win it on a shirt. Never leaving now. Oops. What does that even mean? Yep, yeah, that was pretty brutal. I literally have zero blocking power on the board because of this lumbering battlement. It's kind of ridiculous. I feel like we just play Rhythm here and then next turn we can play both of these guys or we can just pump this. Yeah, it's definitely a lumbering abyss. You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. This format's kind of amazing that there's literally no there's no really efficient way to deal with uncommon with enchantments. So like law mage's binding is just literally removal for the most part. Gotta sculpt these limbs. Hajilashi. Enjoy your gym. Enjoy your workout sesh. The morning rain clouds on my window. And I can't see at all. So five mana, uh, seven mana. Even if my cut it would all be gray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can actually flames the skitter eel if they go to pump it. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's unfortunately it's the only thing we can do. We could also just play Sphinx, but then we're like, that's also the only thing we can do. So I'm going to pass. I was going to the gym too, but I ate pizza instead. <laughs> well, that's certainly a solution. Cool, cool deck. Cool deck. Morning rain clouds on my window. Three. So this would be a four, five, six. Uh yep, nothing, nothing, nothing doing here. Alright, so boy. Seems like a good card, huh? Uh, no, that was not Cheryl Crow. That was Dido. I don't know. I don't think any of these cards are good here, so. Uh, I mean, we could, but it's like we only have, we literally have Gateway Plaza to splash it and open the gates. I don't think it's great. I had five cheeses in the exercise bike only had four speeds. I had to make a choice. <laughs> oh, good times. Well, I think you did all right, buddy.
It's not so bad. I wanna thank you. Keep them. Probably just gonna get another forest here. Then we have enough for Sunder, Sunder Shaman. And we also don't have to, like, if we draw a three drop, which we have a lot of, we don't have to awkwardly play it on turn on turn three to hit our four and five drops, so. Can I rebroadcast stream with my head over your head? Yeah, probably. Oh, fashionably late. Oh, I need express written consent. Isn't this verbal consent? Isn't this recorded verbal consent? That seems like uh, pretty good, right? Can I rebroadcast the stream with me behind you? Like, Mike B, like I'm actually there hanging out with you like old times? Oh, it sounds so much more sad than it actually should be. Oh, you're just going to play this guy? Okay. Can't even take advantage of this guy's beefiness. I mean, it's still just a 4-5 Vigilant for 5, which is nice. And Chris, the answer to your question is a resounding yes. The morning rain clouds on my window. I can't see at all. Man. That guy would have been good to eat with your lumbering battlement. <laughs> would that be a rebroadcast, or would we just have to re-record the whole thing? Because unless your video skills are uh, solidly improved, I don't know what to eat for dinner. What do I have for dinner tonight, guys? Do I have the morning rain clouds on my window? Cause I can't see at all. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go again. This guy having vigilance is annoying cause then I can attack from my boar, but. I want to check if Nifty isn't dressed in all green. Yeah, that's actually a good point. <laughs> I want to see Chris in like a, a green onesie. I just got the head revealed. Actually, I think we did see that before. I think that was, I told him to make that his Facebook profile picture and he did. It was very good. I was thrilled. Have you played a boar with three rhythms in play to make it trigger its own ability and give it haste? No, I haven't. Good lord. Friggin' ethereal admiration munition mercian number number two, huh? Okay. Yeah, their deck is very good. The worst card they played is Sage's Savant, so. Yep, that's a good one too. And if I could, it would. 
it all back away. Put your back to on my wall. Uh, let's get a counter for this guy and haste for this gentleman. Not like it's going to matter, but, you know. Ba boom 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 What up, Cloud Sprint? Also, if you guys are watching on YouTube, feel free to check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporte. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. A bunch of you guys picked up stuff last month, which is, which is super awesome. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it. It is extremely comfortable underwear, onesies, lounge pants, socks, things of that nature. And uh, you will highly enjoy it. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping at MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Link is also in the description below, so you can check that out. Why flex the onesie immediately? That's fantastic. That's fantastic. I'm just going to pump this guy now. Five, six, huh? What if they block with this guy and this guy? That seems bad. Then we're trading a Skidereal for a hybrid. I don't like it. Sometimes people don't know they need onesies in their lives. So they get a onesie and they're like, this is all I've ever needed. Well, that's annoying. Now I'm going to wish we played this so we can do this both in one turn. They still have five cards in hand. I don't actually understand what's happening right now. I have no reason. I was like, why is it a 2-2? Two -two? That's really strange. And then I realized because they have Azoria Skyguard. Can we get like one fight card here? They don't have a black source, which is nice because they can't have Ethereal admonish, admonish, Admonition. Admonishment? I don't know what the... Want to know something weird? I leave your stream up when I go out because my dogs respond to you. Start calling out more dog commands. <laughs> deal okay also now they can block with 5-5 five, five, and 2-2 two, two on this guy I guess it's not terrible trading with the 5-5 five, five, but Okay, sure. 4-4 four, four flyer. You got it. What up, Cheese Wisp? Thank you. Cheese Wisp with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, all right, we're just going to probably... Actually, we're probably just going to kill the 5-5 five five at this juncture. Let's really go slime bind because they have five cards in hand. Smash those like and subscribe buttons. It'll really help out the stream a lot. Get off the couch and make sure and check out MeUndies for some super soft underwear and onesies. Yeah, you're going to make me do this. I'm tapped out and then you're going to slime bind and then it's just... It's just a one for one. Like trading a slime bind for this, sure. To the surprise of no one.
put your picture on my wall. It reminds me that it's not so bad. Yeah, their deck is pretty nuts. I think our deck is good, but we also haven't drawn many uh, removal spells. If we saw this as Zarya Skyguard, I would have 100% brought in Sagittarius Volley, but we did not. Final payment killing one Mammoth Spider. Law Mage is binding on the other Mammoth Spider. Man. Well, that's pretty good. Rubble Belt Runner. Yeah, I feel like this match is pretty much already lost. That is unfortunate. manipulation well just gets better and better just gets better and better good times good times I, I think their deck was utterly insane and uh what can you do This hand seems great. Any land other than Gruel Guildgate lets us play this guy on three. Goblin Nick. Leave it to Goblin Nick to post uh, some of the hottest memes. Today, Mike's birthday. Corporate needs to find you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. <laughs> oh, God. Just fantastic. Good times. Good times. Don't kill this. Thank you. Oh. Oh, that's sad. That's hard to deal with. Especially because, like, most of the removal in the Gruel deck is fight cards. I might just play this to have some idiot to bounce off of. I think that's fine. We could also play both of these guys next turn, and then the, the boar gets triggered. The boar gets triggered like a millennial. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. A little topical political joke there. Yeah, I mean, like, we're, I don't, yeah, this is fine. Whatever. I just want to get this off the board. If I can make it in post content, that's not a chicken slapping meme. Oh, I believed you. I always had faith in you. You just have to want to do it, that's all. This is the best Mardu mana base ever. Dead roll is just for that one creature, huh? Fascinating. Ugh. 
Also, if you got link that, definitely link that Steve Carell mailing himself to Jenner Fisher video. That seems gas. No intervention needed. See, guys? I swear. Okay. You got it. Joke's on you, my dude. I mean, I'm tempted to just Titanic Brawl here, but... Hmm. None of these guys have counters on them. I mean, it's just two for one time. Or we could alternatively kill this guy and then just attack with these two. I think that might be better. They missed two land drops. Okay. Land, land. Yeah. Seems good. There was really no way around that. The deck actually seems pretty good. I thought ours did too. But here we are. Yep. Something I oh my god, this is going to be great. Man, this deck seemed much better uh, after that first round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight to seven. Two rounds in a row. Ethereal Absolution, two rounds in a row. It's all making sense now. volley because they have a bunch of flying nerds keep in mind we're also running 16 lands which is pretty hilarious <laughs>
Yeah, I should have pulled the... Uh, yeah, I agree with you. I should have pulled the rare enchantment removal in the format. <laughs> God. Are they going to five? Come on, go to five. They didn't go to five. That's kind of rude. Well, this is a hell of a round three. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I didn't. I didn't actually fall into a burning ring of fire. I lied to you. Let's not attack. Creature, give me a creature. <sighs> Sixteen lands. I'm just attacking for six here. I got two three fives that don't have anything. This actually feels okay, but I don't know what's going on. Crocodile? Croco Crocodilius? It's actually alright, I guess. Maybe. Boy, having a having a five power guy here would be great. Yeah, they're just constantly rioting. Oh, so this guy can pump into an 8-8, eight, eight, huh? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? Wow. Good for you. The old Blade Juggler Troll Guardian Theater Lab Solution deck. A classic.
guys, my heart has has left the uh, has left the game here. They also have two more cards than we do, which is just ridiculous. If they have any removal spell or any trick, we're just dead. We can't, like, it's an 8 8 with trample, so. Wow. That's great. I mean, we could actually shoot something. It sucks because I want to shoot this guy, but it doesn't do anything, so. Doesn't matter. And they actually ordered incorrectly, so now they only kill the two four instead of the three five and the and the three two because they were so confident that they would be able to eat our guy. All right. Well. I mean, if you're solution, might as well say your creatures get plus two, plus two with the way it works, like, because they're, it's ultimately a plus two, plus two buff. The problem is they can make two guys at the end of this turn, three guys, right? No, it costs four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they can make two guys here. They're two, two flyers. We can kill one of them. We're going to, f to six. There's just no way we're winning this game. This is unbelievable. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Unfortunately, we cannot beat both Ethereal Absolution decks in rounds two and three. Um, ideally, on the next Ravnica draft we do, we will open Ethereal Absolution like all of our opponents do. But until then, apparently we'll just be losing. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Check out Patreon and Twitch. The links are in the description below. And slam those like and subscribe buttons.